Yo, what up, what up? Hey man, this your boy Sean Fontino, aka Franklin. Look, man, I'm here right now to let y'all know that my boy, man, Money Glitch God is back. He's back on YouTube, man. He's back doing his thing, man. Y'all gotta go subscribe, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I can't express that enough, man, from Sean, but Franklin more than anything, man, because he's a big supporter of the GTA, man. The whole little whatever we got with GTA, but, you know, I need y'all to go subscribe to him. I'm a subscriber, so I need y'all to subscribe, man, because he has some haters that kind of shut him down, but, you know, he's back now, so YouTube understood that he's legit. I know he's legit, man. My boy, man, my peoples, man, money glitch guy, so, look, holla at him, man. Joey Turner, what's up, dude? It's my dude over there, man, money glitch guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Hey, what's going on? This is Dead Luke coming at you from my man cave. That right there, you know me as Michael DeSanta from Red Death Auto 5. Hey, I'm sitting down here. My boy, Money Glitch God, tells me that he's got the best YouTube channel ever. Well, here I am in my man cave now, stuck with a room full of that cunt. And I'm telling you what, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But you want to check it out and find out. <laughs> What is up, YouTube? It is me again, Money Glitch. God. And today, you know what we're doing right now. We're on High Life Role Play number one. We got preferred queue status in the server. And right now, I'm just doing my job. I got a job working for Group 6. And we're going to be doing some deliveries. So if you watched last time, you will see that I just got my driver's license, my commercial driver's license. And now that's what allowed me to get a job. I'll give you guys a peek at what the map looks like right here. And this is GTA reality role play. So whatever happens, happens in here. So I'm just going to go over to here and go to my voice chat and turn it on always talking can you hear me yo what's up oh you can hear me how come you're not talking You don't have push to talk? I guess you are talking. You're typing. Do you have a mic? Can you flex your mouth muscle? My ears are fucked. Yeah. Let me try to fix that. Thanks a lot, man. Have fun doing your job. T forward slash fix underscore voice. There we go, guys. That might fix my voice. But anyway, see, they can hear us. And you got to push U to unlock it. See that? I just got on duty and it switches to this outfit. So now I just basically have to make the deliveries. A new delivery has been marked. And this map is awesome, guys. So look at this. Way different than GTA 5. You know, obviously it's based on it, but the mod life is cool, you know what I'm saying? The reason I haven't posted Money Glitch in a while is because Rockstar will take my channel down. So I'm trying to do stuff that I can do without getting my channel taken down. So the speed limit's 40 miles an hour. You see how the speed limit is showing up down there and the fuel is showing up? You have to actually get gas. And you have to actually follow the speed limit and stuff, or else you pay dearly. Hell, left bumper to deliver the goods. There it is. 19 deliveries left. We got some criminals right here doing some shit. It's a dead body. Yeah, we're not going to let them catch up to us. No, thank you. 
So the police in the city are the real police, guys. You know what I'm saying? The police in the city are the real police. They have speed cameras set up downtown. What's up, man? Hope y'all having a good day. I'm just at work. So everybody in the city is real people, guys. It's awesome. You can't just steal any car. It's harder to do everything. But it's worth it. Okay, I gotta go through the alley on this one. Do a delivery in Chinatown. Deliver the goods. There I am there. So this is me working. You gotta get a job at this world. You can't get millions like you can in regular GTA Online. Like fast at least. But this makes it way more worth it because they have real cars in the game like Audi. Like you can buy an Audi, you can live anywhere. It's actually pretty dope. So, just going to, the police haven't really bothered me much. See that guy that just drove by? The police are just like the real police. They can actually arrest you. It's really hard to get a gun in these worlds. But it can be done. So, right now what I'm trying to do is just save up as much money as I can. So, I'm going to be grinding out these deliveries. And if it's along the way, you guys will be first to know. I can't pull up my weapon wheel there. Excuse me, y'all. I'm trying to do a delivery. You got to move your car back a little bit. I don't care if you're doing whatever you're doing. Just please let me do my delivery. I'm broke as hell. Dude, come on. It's right, you're parked right on my circle, bro. You're gonna pull your gun out on me? Because I'm trying to make fucking two grand? Be smarter than that, please. I won't, I won't stop you guys from doing whatever you have to do. Here, look, I'm done already. You guys can have it. Alright. That's what happens, guys. He could have shot me in the head. And if he would have done that to me, I would have been pretty screwed over. Just being honest. Because you die for a long time on here, guys. And that would have ruined my deliveries and my job. Those guys were set out to rob the bank right there. Which you can rob the banks. Which the cops do hear on their radio like real cops. So yeah, I just want to do my job. Hopefully everybody else will just let me do my job. But I do have some enemies in this city, guys. The 6-8 Mafia. They are very upset with me. I killed their third in command. And, yeah. I killed their third in command, and they are not happy. So, we're going to see what happens after that. This is the casino, guys. In GTA, well, in roleplay right here, the casino is where you wash your dirty money. So, if you, if you rob somebody, if you rob a store, first of all, you get a lot of money for robbing a store. But if you do rob a store on here, you have to go clean your money at the casino. It's pretty dope, y'all. Otherwise, if the cops pull you over and they search you, you can have dirty money on you. Also, you can you can sell like it's crazy. You gotta eat. You can eat like burgers. It's a lot of shit. So, if you guys want to play GTA roleplay with me, if you want to talk about my computer, my setup, my minimal requirements. Anything like that, just come to my live streams when I live stream this stuff. 
other than that, I super appreciate you guys for checking out these videos. And I'm going to be showing you guys everything I go through in this world in coming up in GTA High Life Roleplay. Because, you know, if you get an apartment, you can stash stuff at your apartment. Then you don't got to worry about losing it. Because if you're dead on the ground, people can walk up to you and literally hit the E button and search you. So it's pretty crazy. So we're just doing our job, guys. Hopefully all these criminals, bugs. And it's crazy because up to 1,000 people even sometimes can be in these servers. Right now, this world is up to 100 people at a time. And I even pay monthly for priority in the queue. So 14 deliveries left. You have to return your truck back in the way that you get it, or you'll get charged for it. This is realism server, guys. I love it. You notice those guys didn't shoot at me, because this is how it is. They got the hospital on here. Like, if you get hurt, guys, you don't just recover health at all. It doesn't happen. If you get if you get hurt on this game, you slowly get more and more and more hurt until you like collapse and then you're laying there like needing help. It's crazy. So I'm just trying to do my job like I was showing those guys before crazy because you have to shift gears even if you're driving an automatic like right there I had to like let go of gas push the gas again to like simulate putting it in park and also I had to fasten my seatbelt look you'll die and fall out of your car hit B button and look in the screen you fastened your seatbelt so now if I go fast and crash I won't actually die necessarily Sometimes you will, though. If you crash too fast, you're just going to die. There's no keep going. And if I drive this fast past a speed camera, I'm going to get a speeding ticket. You'll see that pop up, too. But So I'm new to the city, guys. I've only done a little bit of work. And I'm, right now I'm trying to earn my keep because the longer you work at these places, the more leveled up you'll be and more money you'll make. But... I'm just trying to earn my keep. This is worth it, guys. It's like playing GTA from the beginning again, but it's not GTA. It's you. And it actually makes sense how you build up. 12 deliveries left. These are None of these deliveries are too bad. So I got 12 deliveries left. I did about eight so far. And hopefully we make some good money, guys. Because I work for the trucking company, like the semi-trucking company. And honestly, that didn't make me too much money. Maybe a few grand. And you got to get a driver's license to drive a car. There's all kinds of active staff in the city, too. So, obviously, the police are not NPCs on here. They're real people who have a bunch of different modded abilities to arrest you and stuff. You guys keep track. Oh, this might seem one of the bo more boring things, but this is the grind here. The legal grind. See, there's the, see that castle on the map up there, guys? That's the group sex headquarters. So. But yeah, there's going to be people, well, there is a whole, a whole entire gang that's actually looking for me. There's the car dealership where you can actually go buy your own car. But there's no mechanics. Look at that. Speeding ticket. Damn, I drove past one of the cameras. Speeding. All the stores on the map, you can actually rob if you have a crowbar. You can, like, 
break the register open. But you cannot rob a store if someone else has robbed one recently. Ten deliveries left. Let's go. So yeah, that was about half the deliveries I did right there. And you're just going to have to realize, look, that's driving school on the map there. There's no, like, jobs. The jobs are literally places you go to work. Like, you know, you got to go to Cluck and Bell and serve burgers for a while. Things like that. Can't really get drugs or guns, but if you do, it's not easy. And there's a lot of, um, gangs in the hood over here. You're going to really see gangs for real. Alright, looking for the... And if I run into any of them, I'm just going to tell them I'm trying to do my job. Some of them might try to kill me. Some of them might talk shit to me. But hopefully they just let me do my job. That's my big goal. So right now, voice chat is broken, guys, so you can't hear the other people. I apologize for that. This was a close one. Let me see if I can fix the voice chat thing. Task manager. Yo. So I can still hear this after switching that to this. Hey, that's nutty, huh? Alright, so here we go. Not sure we'll be able to hear him. But you gotta see, there's people everywhere doing some of everything. Let's hurry up and get this over with. Hey, what's up? Can you hear me? Yeah. See, those people are driving supercars with custom colors, guys. That's not easy to get. You gotta really be grinding for a while to do that. I did apply to be police in this mode, guys. Which might be... Oh, daddy, yes. If I'm a police officer and I'm coming through the city, that's hilarious. I don't know what this gun, all this ammunition. Let's see if I can buy one. Enough for the pistol, maybe the S and S. I don't even have enough for the S and S, man. Maybe after this job. Not a lot of money. Thought 
I had money in the bank. I did buy a gun before, but then I lost it. So the move is really to get some money under your belt, like I'm doing now. Then I could buy an apartment. These are all my goals that you guys need to witness. I'm gonna buy an apartment, I'm gonna buy a car, I'm gonna have a place to stash my stuff, then I'm gonna grab a gun and go stash it because I'm ultimately gearing up for the war with the 6-8 Mafia. If you guys wanna join my gang in this world, feel free to join me in High Life RP World 1. And also, you have to have $10 a month to join the server for priority. I got to have people on my team that can get right in recruiting for my gang on PC. You need at least a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 10 something. Damn, they're hitting me over the head for driving fast. Look, Benny's ain't even there. The mechanic is, though. And the mechanic can give you some really good, like, modded colors on your cards and stuff. I'm not there yet. I've seen a couple people with, like, really, really, really nice cards. But... And I do not work tomorrow, so I will be making these GTA videos for you guys all the time. And this will be one of the only times you don't hear the voices of other people. Sometimes the voice messes up in these things. And what you got to do is you got to hit T. Because that brings up the message. And then forward slash fix underscore voice. And hit enter. And then hopefully that fixes your voice. But it's not guaranteed. Unless I start hearing the other people randomly. Those dudes were about to rob the bank right there. That was awesome. I don't know how much they make for that, but probably way more than I make for this. I got such a good PC for gaming now, man. Look how smooth this is. And this is on ultra settings for everything. Nothing held back. These are the ultra settings. Damn, he called me a weak ass business. Y'all heard that? So this is going better than driving the dang semi. Man, this is kind of a far one. Hopefully after I build up enough money I won't have to do this very much, but till then. Like right there, that was a person that was, you know what I'm saying? I only got 75% fuel left. You literally have to go to the gas station and get gas. I'll show you guys since you just drove by it. Like, you just stand here if you need gas. I'm gonna see where the gas pump is. Fuck it. Or the gas tank. You literally stand there. Maybe it's because it's a work car. You can't get gas in it. Because I think I tried the truck and it didn't work. But yeah, if it's a regular car, like, I can take any of those cars around me. And just go there and stand there.
we go. These things are pretty hardy too. That's what I'm learning about these trucks. Six deliveries left. That's right the way. We can get this up knocked out of the way. These houses would be nice to live in. So you can go 70 miles an hour on the highway. If you guys didn't know, then you don't get a speeding ticket no matter what. cooking with gas trying to get this done for y'all and look out man I'm gonna be putting out episodes of everything that I go through all the way up to when we start actually robbing banks maybe when we get our gang together maybe when we get out I seen that you can like in Lester's neighborhood you can live in any house I knocked on the house to see who was there. You like knock on other people's door. It's pretty crazy. GTA should be like this, man. Right now they done got too much flying bike bullshit going on. Too many explosions. You notice that's something that's not going on here. Even if someone's a dick, for the most part, they're just dicks about trying to get simple things done in this world. They're not blowing stuff up. That's like not happening. The only guns you can have are like ones that can't blow anything up. There's only a few guns you can actually even use, so I like that a lot about this. I'm really going hard right here trying to make it. Can't afford ammunition, but four deliveries left. Should be right up the way. So I did 16 deliveries. This is the farthest I've gotten. This is gonna be the first time that I actually finish one of these delivery missions. But in this world, there's several places to work, like tons of places you can get a job. Anything you need to do, like building stuff with hardware, you gotta go to U-Tool for real. Oh, well, look at all them animals, guys. You gotta go to U-Tool. So, I like all that. Gotta do something with crowbars or hammers or anything like that. Go to U-Tool. Get the tools to be successful. Right. And I just got the gas held down. Now, guys, you might not be able to tell, but I farted. <laughs> no, but you might not be able to tell, but the driving on this is way harder. Way, way harder. Was that in the game or real life? I couldn't tell. Dollars, pills pharmaceuticals and I'm going to take this time to rip a fat dis out just heating up shout out to puff cow
All right, call the cops with why. I'll keep that in mind, but probably don't do that. All right, let's finish this. My feet are strong, Joe Logan. How far away is this next one? And I guess it could be worse. It took the Martini Club up here. I didn't know there was a strip club up here. This is the grind, guys. We're out here grinding it up. Yo, what up, boys? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, my, the, this is all proximity too, guys. So like, it's all proximity chat, which is just amazing. I'm going to fix the voice after this. This will be the last video you guys see with the, I can't interact with the people. Because I'm not having to do anything, push to talk, nothing. I just have it so we can hear each other. So they for sure can hear me. But I for sure cannot hear them. And that's probably because I switched the audio settings in the middle of the game. But Honestly, this is such a serious roleplay that I can even get in trouble for saying, like, the game. I mean, you're supposed to pretend like it's fear RP. Fear-based role-playing. Alright, two deliveries to go. Let's get God, this one's way up there. No way. No. Oh my god. No way. This is stupid. I'm gonna need to get the fatty. I'm gonna need fatty. It's my opinion. So yeah. Just expect super awesome content from GTA RP. It's about time I did this, guys. What's going on here? You got a taco truck out here, bruh? Good shit, bruh. 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 Y'all ain't ready for that beatbox straight up. But anyway, two deliveries left. I'm after it right now. Right in the traffic, Mergy's clergy. Out of my way. Get your ass hit. Now this is where it gets tricky, guys, because I'm not wearing my seatbelt. If you don't remember to buckle your belt, you'll die enough to to do it next time. So I just hit B right now. He says, you fasten your belt. Round and now. This is such a far stretch. GTA 5 map is amazing though. I think they have some mod worlds where you can actually be in totally different, totally different places, which is sick. And I heard GTA Online for regular Xbox is adding a new territory or something, but I don't know. I don't have any faith in what they might probably do. 
All their little super additions have all been Saints Row ripoffs that makes the online balance, like, you know, makes it stupid for you to, you, these people are flying around on oppressors and stuff. They should have realism mode on regular GTA, where you gotta, like they did back when San Andreas, where CJ had to work out and eat and all that. They have servers just like that. This is a really good one right here, guys. This is High Life. Look in the top left. There's the Discord. And I am cruising right now. 87 miles an hour. Yeah, that's how you do it. And the speed and everything is restricted on these. So, for me to hit the max speed of 87 on this thing... You know, I gotta be cooking. Like that right there, it's easier to just gun it and swing around the corner. Alright, second to last stop. Watch the other one be fucking North Yankton. One delivery left. Let's go. Oh, it's in town. Let's go. Easy. Now I gotta drive all the way back to headquarters, though. In my shift. Get paid. This is the grind right there, man. My hand almost hurts from that, guys. That's what I'm going to be doing to get some money for a little while now. <laughs> Booyah, I did it. This is the first time I finished my job. Thank you guys so much from YouTube. You have no more deletes. Go to go back home to get paid. And you have to bring the truck back. I got a long drive ahead of me. I might as well rip the fat ass dab. That's what I'm about to do. Oh, I forgot. When you stop on this game, guys, look. You don't just stop. rip a dab and then drive back to headquarters and I'm going to reset this game so that the voice works record you guys more videos of what I go through tonight because I'm going to be making a video tonight going around looking for 6-8 Mafia members I have to so 6-8 Mafia I um, was rolling with them for a little bit in here, guys. Then I sh shot their third in command in the head. He's dead. And he mad. Then I shot their friend they were going to recruit. Then I went on a robin spree. You'll see what it's like, guys. good. Sheesh. Hmm. This thing's chopped out. I need a Kool-Aid jammer. I need to holler at my girl. Mm, it hurts. I need to get one. Hold on, guys. Pull over for Kool-Aid. I'll be right back.
Okay. Let's get it. Whew. <clears throat> Only got 30% fuel left and it's getting dark. I basically worked all day. That's how this is designed. Oh, I almost died there. So yeah, this is what it's like working for this company. There's plenty of other companies. I'm gonna show you what it's like working for the other ones when we do get paid. But there's gonna be a whole different side to me in this city, guys. Cause right now I don't have a house. No apartment, nowhere to call him. I don't have a cell phone, but cell phones work like they do in real life, which is awesome. It's one of the best parts of this game. So if you get someone's cell phone number, say I run into one of those guys that I couldn't hear, you can get their real cell phone number and call them. Look at you need a license to buy a car. I had to pass a driver's license test to get a job a red driver's license so the cops wouldn't pull me over and um, a real driver, a commercial driver's license so that's why I can get this job I just got so yeah there's a lot to this guys a lot of driving I am opening it all the way up right now. Cops pretty much leave me alone so hard. I'm about to become a kingpin in this city right in front of y'all. Watch me work, guys. Be a kingpin. Look how smooth this is, guys. Look how great the graphics is. I encourage everybody out there who is a fan of my solo money glitches to get role play going on in your life. Took me a while to get it going, but I feel like all of the people who know me from YouTube, y'all can be in the world with me and we can be together because we going to really need each other on here. This is way different than in a game where you can just troll kill someone. Here you have to be part of the developed storyline. You can get banned real easy. So if you guys want to join this server, You'll never get in when I'm in, by the way, because I'm in priority, so you'd have to pay just to get in. Yeah. It's all good, though. All the negativity aside, it's worth it. If you love GTA like I do and you want GTA 6, this is like the ultimate GTA. Seriously. Only thing that could be better is if they had like one huge world with everybody in it. So then nobody waiting in a queue. That would be the move. For High Life RP, nobody... This is some dangerous driving I'm doing. But I have to. I'm sick of being work. I'm trying to get off work. This is how I drive home from work in real life. <laughs> hundred. I hit a hundred on this motherfucker. All the way back to the crib. That's the hospital, guys. Okay, people, they're real doctors working there. They heal people for real. I'll make a video all about pillbox one time. See, that dude's returning home from work too. Group six, he works at the same place as me. He took that other car. So he must be a higher level. Higher level people can unlock those cars. If he has, he must be a higher position in the corporation. And the highest ranked person in the corporation is the CEO. And they make money, like, for working for the company. 
so you can actually see who the real CEO is. If I outgrinded everyone in the world in this lobby, these are permanent lobbies, by the way, guys. It's amazing. There, see that? The CEO of the group sex company says, leave my vehicle close. Now watch, we're gonna get some money. This is the headquarters. So I come here, push E or left bumper. I'm using the Xbox controller. 50 collections until next rank. So I have to do this five times to, to do my, there, finish my shift. Boom, I got paid $1,300 bonus. You pay $87.59 in total for your work. Not bad, guys. That's the apartment. Now, I don't have a car. I don't want to be liable to get robbed out here. That's a button, guys. I need to... You gotta know your way around the seat or it's confusing. The bank is this way. If you see somebody with a car like that with custom colors on it, then you know it's popular. Hot dog joint. How do you screenshot on Windows 10? I found this on the web. Yeah, I hope I don't run into that gang right now, y'all, before I get my shit together. That's them. See them going in there? That was them. The bank has been robbed. So let me put my money in the bank. If I don't already have it in the bank. Okay, more money. Contact Pac Contact Pacific Savings to discuss how to invest my money. That's what I'm all about. See what Pacific Savings is. Deposit box. 
That's probably where I gotta put my shit if it's public. Go to parlor. And you gotta go get your clothes. You cannot just change outfits. You have to physically go change outfits. Look, I can work for the recycling company. Pegasus Rotary. Impounds where your car goes. Driving school. Alright guys, this is the end of this video. I'm going to be doing more shenanigans. I love y'all so much. Make sure that you check in to my RP streams. They're lit. And see what we get into next. It's your boy MGG.